Let me show you the best application control tips for your 48 and we start right now. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. Application control scans your traffic, your network traffic for applications that you wish to control. Now it does so using the IPS, the Intrusion Prevention System Engine and its protocol decoders. Now, the order of the operation is quite significant. The first thing it scans is the application override. That is different signatures. The second thing is filter override, where you can uh, group application that have uh, the same behavior, such as excessive bandwidth. And the last thing it does is scans for the different categories. So if you wish to block a category such as gaming, and yet you wish to enable a specific game such as the Battlefield game, you can do it. And let's just select the signature. And 48 will start by scanning application override it will see that the uh, battlefield game is let's make it allow let's make it a monitor in monitor mode it will allow the game still it will monitor it uh, keep logs of it and then it will look for the filter overrides currently we don't have anything in the filter overrides and then it will look at the categories where it will block any other game when the IPS engine finds a match to an application, it tells your Fortigate that it found an application ID number. Now, Fortinet keeps a database of some thousands of applications. Each one has its own ID. If you wish to see the different IDs for the different application, you use the CLI. Config application list edit zero, config entries, edit zero, and then set application and a question mark. And now you can scroll between the different applications and their ID. The next tip may seem obvious, but I have seen cases where users um, created application control sensor and believe that it is globally enabled on any firewall policy. Well, that's not the case. Whenever you create an application sensor, name it and then use it in your different policies and the application sensor will be available only through that policy alone. Whenever you as an administrator block an application, don't forget that your users deserve an explanation why that application was blocked. So for an HTTP based application, you can use the replacement messages for HTTP based application. Make sure that it is enabled. Now, when you enable it, your users will get a block page that will include the following information. Uh, the signature that detected the application, the signatures category, either gaming or peer-to-peer, -peer, the URL that was specifically blocked, the client source, that's the IP address of the client, and the server's destination. Now, another thing that the block page includes is the 48's host name and the UUID of the policy that was governing the traffic. It is good in an organization that you have 
many 48 devices. You can look up at the host name of the 48 and tell which 48 actually blocked the traffic. Now our last tip, which we will include a specific video on it in the coming future, is traffic shaping. You can actually traffic shape any application and allocate guaranteed bandwidth or maximum bandwidth to that specific application. It can be your Netflix or whichever application you use the most. Now you, tr you configure a traffic shaper and you configure a traffic shaping policy. That traffic shaping policy can be determined on a specific policy and specific category such as video and audio where you can actually select different applications such as the Netflix application.